Is that Sophia? Hey, Sophia. Oh, hi. How do you get your hair so long? Oh, well, it's a secret. I can't really tell you. Thank you, though. You can't tell me anything? No, sorry. Well, why not? I don't really talk about it, you know? You don't talk about it on your YouTube? No, it's, it's okay. Just tell me, come on. Thank you, though. Thank you. Just tell me. Thank you. Just tell me. Just tell me. Just tell me. You have me. I'm here. And I'm going to tell you guys. Dini, please, can you not interrupt? All right, she's just going to be a prop in the video. But I'm here to tell you guys how I grew my hair and talk about my long hair journey and everything I've done to get my hair this long. It's about three feet long right now. I started off with my hair this short. When I say this short, I mean this short. I posted some videos of my hair before, but I'm gonna insert clips here. Yes, that's me at 15 years old. Um, I looked like a boy. <laughs> and my hair was super, so yeah. super short. Um, my hair was super short and straight, actually. So I used to have straight hair. And when I did the big chop, it grew out curly. I don't know why. Maybe it was puberty. This was when I was 15 years old. I just turned 20. So you could say this was about four and a half, five years ago. For the first two years, really, I did not care about my hair. Um, I just let it grow naturally. I didn't like it to be that short, but I honestly didn't really care. I didn't really care how, what I looked like. I didn't care what shampoos I used. I was a Pantene girl through and through. My mom would sometimes tell me to try this new thing. Oh, how did you like it? And I would just be like, I don't know, I don't care. I didn't care about my hair, okay? Which is crazy because now my hair is like 90% of my life. And you know what? I complain about it all the time, but I like it this way. I like my life like this. My hair did grow out curly. I did not do any curly girl routines. My hair was just curly, short, you know, like shoulder length. It was really big because I've, I've always had abundant hair. That's, that's one thing. I'm not going to lie to that part, but it's always been short. Always been short most of my life. But fast forward to 2020, an idea came into my mind. I don't know from where, but I needed to have long hair. I was just like, I want my hair to be super long, but super freaking long. So this was 2020. And this was during the pandemic. And you know how we all did DIY stuff in the pandemic. We all wanted to have abs. We wanted to grow a butt, you know, we we're all doing all these things to be healthier because we had so much time in our hands. And one of the things that I did was try to grow my hair. So the first thing that I ever did for hair growth technique, which is actually a really popular technique, which I really like, is rice water. It comes from China, from this village in China where all the women there have beautiful long hair, no grace at all. They just have cascades of hair and all they do is rice water. So I was just like, you know, let me try this. Let me give it a shot. It's easy to make. I have the ingredients at home. So yeah, so I did it. I did that for a few months. And honestly, I'll try to insert some pictures of me at that time. I do feel like my hair grew quite a bit. And, you know, I did start to care a bit more about my hair at that point on. You know, I started being more careful with it. I still use Pantene. I stopped using Pantene maybe like a year ago because I don't know, I didn't know any other shampoos really. I wasn't really that into it, you know? I just knew I wanted it long, but I didn't really know how to get there. And then fast forward a few months, I leave El Salvador, which is where I'm from. I'm from El Salvador. And I come to United States, which is where I am right now. And I still continue, I still have it in my mind that I want long hair, I want the longest hair ever and i start researching a bit more and i come across this video i'll start it here this video that it talked about like aloe vera and i was just like okay i want to try this so i bought aloe vera uh it was 100 percent aloe vera and i started using it on my scalp and honestly that's definitely when i started also seeing like results my hair had grown with rice water as well but aloe vera also helped then 
go back a little bit, um, I go back to El Salvador like a month after I'm in the United States. And I, you know, I ask around what's good over there, you know, what can I try that's like from El Salvador that I can use and bring and bring back over to the United States, which is where I was living now. And that was Sapuyulo oil, which you guys have mentioned me and heard me talk about it so freaking much. When I first heard about Sapuyulo oil back in 2020, I didn't really know what it was. I've never really heard of it, but then I asked my grandparents and they knew all about it because it's been used in El Salvador for decades. People from really rural areas really were the ones that were doing it. And if you go to any market in El Salvador, you'll probably find sapuyulo oil being sold there because it is very common, you know, it's a common plant uh, and it's something that Salvadorans love to use. The only bad thing is that it doesn't really grow anywhere else besides El Salvador. So I started my own hair brand actually of Tropical Miracles, which is I started selling sapuyulo oil. I started bringing the oil from El Salvador over to here, you know, and selling it. I started my own brand. I started making it myself. Right now that store is on pause. I'm gonna be releasing the store again soon. So you guys can buy this Apoyulo oil without having to go to El Salvador to get it. I discovered this oil and I started using it alongside a little vera gel. And that's really the main two things that I did for a long, long time. You know, I put it in my scalp, I massaged it, and I didn't know if it was working or not, but I just let it work, you know, I stopped worrying about it. And then fast forward, I noticed my hair had grown a lot, you know, quite a bit. Like it was like maybe mid back and I was all the way to my lower back, which was very new to me. I've never had my hair be that long. So slowly but surely, I just started noticing my hair grow at a rate that I've never really experienced before. And at a rate that some might say unnatural. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I wanted to have long hair and I had no doubt in my mind that I was going to have long hair. So I also think that by doing practices like this and manifesting the manifesting your desire, manifesting how you want to look like in this 3D world, by doing all these things, you can bring to life things like long hair that might be, some people say, genetically impossible for you. First of all, nothing is impossible. No one in my hair has, no one in my family has long hair. I'm the first one to have long hair like this. Um, and you know, I did it by the power of course of aiding myself with things like oils, aloe vera, rice water, but it was really my intention because I knew I wanted to get long hair. I didn't, hair, I didn't care how I did it. I just knew that I was gonna have long hair. And now here I am with my long hair. It's very surreal, like I said, because I had short hair for so long and I never thought I was gonna have long hair at all because I was also never allowed to grow out my hair as a kid. So honestly, I never really knew if my hair could get long or not because my mom would always cut it. So for the first time in my life, I have this hair length and I honestly love it. But after that, you know, after, um, let's say in 2021, I started to get more into hair care. You know, I looked up protective hairstyles you know i started doing the curly hair journey as well like I, I started my curly girl journey method whatever you want to call it you know i started taking care of my curls better because they were very frizzy um and they weren't really that well defined so i started doing that more um i discovered you know a good routine that helped me out but as for hair growth i was still sticking with the same products mostly like sapuyulo oil aloe vera gel and you know some scalp massages i really wasn't doing that much uh also besides putting the intention out there that these products were working for me and they were making my hair long and if your belief is powerful enough you could be putting water in your scalp and your hair is gonna grow but there are things that help aid that process faster nature whatever you want to call it the universe god has given us has given us so many things on this earth that we can use to aid the things that we want, whether that be ailments, for us to get a glowier skin, you know, be clear of acne, or for us to get long hair, which is what you probably want since you're in this video. Then, you know, I was afraid of haircuts for a long time. So honestly, I didn't cut my hair for a long period. I did once, I cut like about this much. And for me, that was a big cut because I had my hair, you know, be so short. I was scared to be little, 
Mowgli again, you know? Mowgli from the Jungle Book. I didn't want to be that boy anymore. So I didn't cut it for a long time. I just cut it that once. So a lot of people do ask me how often I cut my hair. Honestly, the answer, you know, in this in my long hair journey, I've cut my hair maybe around four or five times in all these years. And when I say cut, I always mean trims. It's never been a big cut that I've done. You can do it more often if you if you would like, you know, split ends are a thing. I am not, um, I definitely do have some split ends, you know, that's normal, that's totally normal. But I'm not gonna go ahead and just chop all my hair because I see a split end here, you know, I'm not gonna do that. So, in my opinion, I would not recommend cutting your hair that often. And if you do, do it on a full moon, whether you believe it or not, just do it on that day. Be skeptical if you want, but trust me, sometimes cutting your hair in some days might help it grow. I know this is a jump, different scenario, I'm wearing different clothes, but my phone died yesterday um, and I wasn't able to continue to film until today, so here I am. But from that point on, I didn't really do anything different. I have mastered more of my hair care routine. And honestly, I don't really want to go into detail with that because I've made several hair care routine videos. I would say go watch my natural hair care routine. I'm going to link it down in the description and my other hair care routine as well. And you guys can see those videos. And that's basically what I do now to maintain my hair. Like, I will be trying new methods to grow hair and... The next few videos just because i want to test them out and see if they work but currently this is what i do um i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching um i really hope you enjoyed this video because you guys have been harassing me for it i want to say harassing but just asking me very persistently for it and here it is my long hair journey and how my hair went from being super short to long and follow me on instagram because I always post cute little photos there. Um, DM me or comment if you're from YouTube because I want to know. But yeah, bye guys.